having a bad hair week. Hi, my name's Alex. If you don't know, now you know. Welcome. Today I'm gonna to show you how I wear one eyeshadow. It's very simple. It seems like it's very simple, but I know a lot of people were like, it seems simple, but also like very difficult. I don't know, but I just wanna show you how I do it. I honestly, I think it is really, really easy, but sometimes people can't really tell like how to wear a shimmer or how to wear a matte all over their eyes, basically. It's basically like a smoky eye. Your go-to smoky eye, it can be any color, whatever. Today, I'm gonna to be using the new Melt uh, 24 palette. Look at this. Is that so fucking cool? I love it. So fun. What are those things? I don't know, broken sea glass? I don't know, it just looks fun. Anyway, look at these fucking colors, you guys. <sighs> what? I love them. They're so beautiful. I love this. I love it. And I'm gonna fucking use two of these so I can show you a shimmer and a matte. What? Uh, just basically like how I do it. That's it. Um, there is only one shimmer. <laughs> in this whole palette and it's this gold color right here. The first thing I'm gonna do is prep my eyelids and I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Sheer, uh, I can't remember what this is called, but it's this guy right here, the e.l.f. eyeshadow primer. This is my favorite eyeshadow primer. Like it's fantastic. I love it so much. Anyway, um, so I'm just gonna pop this shit all over. It's great, it's very affordable, obviously. It is e.l.f. I believe they have different colors. So we're gonna start off with the matte shade. I'm trying to decide like which one I wanna do cause I have to use this shimmer cause it's the only shimmer in the palette. And I don't know, I kinda wanna use this neon green. Is that weird? Let's fucking do it. You can pretty much start on the lid or in the crease. Like this is really just like however you wanna do it. You know what I mean? I don't know. Okay, so for a matte shadow, I typically like to start off the way that I would with like any look. So I'm gonna be picking up my Morphe M433 brush basic blending brush and I'm going to tap into shotgun this bright ass neon green um so looking down into a mirror I'm just going to start building it up in the crease there's a, a bristle that's stabbing me when I do that so building it up in the crease is a really nice way to just kind of like start because you kind of like it allows you to follow the natural shape of your eyelid. So I start off in the crease because I want a lot of pigment here and on the lid. So I'm gonna build it up by tapping it and then slowly start diffusing it out. Now the shape obviously is going to be whatever you wanna do, but I love to really, really smoke it, especially when I use one shadow, because even if you're using a statement color like this, it's not, um, it's not overwhelming because you don't have a ton going on on the eye. It's just one color. So I personally think that it's the most striking when you really blow it out. Now for me, that means taking it in here and then up to my brow bone. You can go all the way up to the brow if you want it to be like serious statement, you know what I mean? Like high fashion, like a little bit more of a cat eye. I kind of just like to fill this whole area with the color. So again, starting off with the majority of the pigment in the crease and then slowly blending it out. This is the shape that I prefer for, so rude. This is the shape that I prefer for pretty much all, well, I wish I could speak. This is the shape that I prefer for pretty much all of my eye looks. I like to smoke out up here and then kind of like, you know, create a little bit more of a cat eye. Now, for the lid, you can use this, but I've already got the rest of my face makeup on. This is mostly for blending, not really packing on shadow. So now I'm gonna grab my Sigma Medium Sweeper. This is the E54 brush. This shit I've had for so long. Love this brush. It's basically just a staple in my brush collection. So I'm going to pick up that shade. I always tap off my brush and then just pack it on the lid. And you wanna make sure that you're using padding motions if you do have your face makeup on already because you wanna avoid fallout. Isn't it so interesting how um, vibrant it looks when you pack it on? Like you can really, really see the pigment right now. Whereas when we were blending it, it really shears it out. And then just kinda of like diffuse it up into that crease since we already have the color up there. Mm. Fuck that color, man. Love it. Oh my God, I love it. Okay, so, um, especially with this lip, quite nice. For my lower lash line, I'm going to grab my, uh, what is this, MAC? Oh no, oh, MAC 239S. It's just like a little um, definer brush, but it's very, very soft and quite nice. 
love it. And I'm going to just run this along my lower lash line, you guys, super simple. I basically, what I like to do whenever I place like any color on my lower lash line, I like to just kind of like cover up this whole under eye bag because I have so many creases under there. When I go in with like concealer, I basically just get creasing in that area no matter what concealer I use. So I like to just kind of like cover up this area. Um, placing the eyeshadow there kind of helps to like push that area back in space so it looks a little bit less. We look crazy, but like how fun, you know what I mean? Anyway. Again, kind of like just patting it so I'm not taking it all over the place. And you can take this as far down as you want. You can keep it as close as you want, depending on like your under eye situation. I like to blow mine out a bit. For the other eye. Now, the only reason that I want to show you a second color is because I treat shimmer a little bit different. So I'm going to be using Shatter, which is the gold shade in the palette. This right here. Quite nice, quite nice. Now what I like to do for shimmers is I actually start on the lid and I like to use my finger to apply it. Typically shimmers are best applied with your finger, but if you do have fake claws, it can make it really, really difficult. Now that I've had quarantine nails for a while now, I've been able to use my fingers a little bit more. Start by pressing it onto the lid. Not really getting much payoff here. Shh, yet. Maybe I should use a brush. I'm gonna grab the my other Sigma. Um, this is a new one, a new collection E54. Same brush, just a fancier one. And dig into that a little bit more. I may have picked the wrong eyeshadow for this. Maybe I just had to rough it up a little bit. There we go. I think sometimes you just have to break the first layer. Yeah, that's better. So I like to start off on the lid and then just kind of like cover the whole lid with the color, cover color. Obviously like getting the pigment to where you want it, but I like the um, majority of the color and pigment to be on the actual lid. And then what I do is whatever is left over on my finger, I start to blend upward, starting to diffuse it. Because shimmers can sometimes be kind of difficult to blend, especially if it's darker, because typically a shimmery shade it's not just shimmer. It has like a base of a shadow. So it has some kind of a base color and then there's pearl in, in it. So when you start to blend it out, sometimes that shimmer starts to dissipate a little bit and you get stuck with that like base color. And if it's dark, you can end up with like a really crazy mess and it can sort of be like difficult to blend. So now what I'm gonna do is grab any blending brush that works for you, you know? Like this is just, um, this is a ColourPop E2 brush just a little synthetic blending brush. So now I'm going to be grabbing that gold on that brush, focusing it on the tip. I'm kind of like working it in and then make sure to tap off. And then I'm going to place this in the crease and then sort of repeat the steps that I did on the other side. So following the same shape, if you want to build up pigment, you can tap first and then start blending. This shadow probably wasn't the best example for this just because it doesn't have a deep base. It has a really light base. It's actually quite sheer. And then if I want to build up pigment, grab it on my finger or on that flat brush and then pat. <laughs> it looks so crazy. And then for my lower lash line, uh, basically the same thing as the under part. Uh, I'm gonna be using this brush by the Makeup Institute. It doesn't have a name. It's just like a little shader brush. Um, and then obviously if you are working with a shimmer and you need more intensity or you just don't want like pigment pieces to be like flying all over the place, you can spritz it with any kind of a setting spray, which will help just kind of like, I was going to say coagulate. That's like kind of gross, but like that's what it's doing. It's coagulating those um, pigments because it's very difficult to use your finger on your lower lash line. All right, let's pop off some lashes so I don't look crazy anymore. I don't know what these are. I think they're from House of Lashes. They're pretty baller though, right? I love them. They're spiky. I think they're from House of Lashes. I could be completely wrong though. I'll try to find them and link them down below. Just waiting for my glue to get tacky. By the way, I'm literally thinking about doing a video that's just like 20 minutes of an intro just to fuck with you guys. Cause it's how I show love. All right, uh, I actually love the way a one shadow look looks with just mascara. So don't feel like you have to wear falsies, but I did feel like popping on 
some spikes. You know what I mean? This is it, you guys. That's how I wear one shadow looks, I guess. Um, this is the shape that I like, the blend that I like. It's how I like approach applying shimmer. Uh, hopefully this was helpful. I don't know. Some A bunch of you guys wanted to see it, so here it is. <laughs> and uh, what do you think of the like mixed matched eyeshadow? I'm actually kind of like digging it. <laughs> do people say digging? I feel like that was like my mom's era. I'm old. Um, all right, that's it. Thank you for watching. For, from watching. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. That's it. I'm gonna go. I've been doing this for so long and I really need to eat some food. I'll do this highlight, Pat McGrath. Fabulous. There's a hair on my lip. <laughs> <laughs> It's kind of fun.